So, Neve, I want to talk about Act 5, Scene 1. The sleepwalking uh, the scene. The sleepwalking scene. And it feels like the sleepwalking scene is proof of that Lady Macbeth has finally found some sense of maybe conscience or, or a, at least an awareness of consequence, doesn't it? Yeah. She actually enumerates the consequences. One, hell is murky, they're damned. Mm. Who, who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? The Thane of Fife had a wife, where is she now? Lady Macduff and all her babies are killed. Mm. And uh, I tell you yet again, Banquo's buried. If you wanted a sort of short trailer about what happens in Macbeth, this would be the one because they do all these things, all these murders occur, and all these people die and actually in the play there are consequences for everybody you know Macduff is left without a family uh, Malcolm and Donobane are left without a father the Macbeths who had hoped for glory and to lead, you know to be the couple that had led uh, Scotland into a into a glittering new era are, are people who have been damned and who will go down in history as a really evil couple you cannot stop reliving mm. all of all of the consequences of, of, of mm. what has happened and i am with my, my my husband is no longer close to me i mean mm. i think for her that's probably well there are two huge things for her one is the the the, the rupture of their marriage and i think the other is the loss of children the, the amount of children that you know that are that are killed mm. i wonder if we should do it and make it feel like um confessional almost let's try and show it to the audience okay grand brilliant Yet, here's a spot, out, damn spot, out, I say, one, two, why then tis time to do it, hell is murky, fie my lord, fie, a soldier and a feared, what need we fear who knows it? when none can call our power to account. Yet you would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him. The Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? Will these hands ne'er be clean? No more of that, my lord. No more of that. You mar all with this starting. And here's the smell of the blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. I tell you yet again, Banquo's buried. He can't come out on screen. To bed, to bed. There's knocking at the gates. Come. Come. Come, give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed. To bed. To bed. Brilliant. That was. Amazing. <laughs> well, it was a bit strange because yeah. I've never done it like that yes, before. Yes, yeah. I mean, what, what do you think was the difference then between physically how you did it then? Well, I suppose what was dif different mainly was that it seemed I couldn't be sleepwalking. It felt mm. much more like I'm actually telling you. So I was making contact. Whereas I think what's interesting about the actual scene is she is sleepwalking. So she, I mean, because it's a play, you are wanting to make some of, you know, some of the lines actually 
out to the audience, but she's not, she's not seeing the audience. So mm. it is, it's completely, in, she's in her world. So in a way, confessing is such a, a conscious thing to yeah. do. And what's actually happening is her subconscious. She didn't mean to say this, but it just is coming out. She wouldn't usually say this. She couldn't say it. Um, she couldn't the, say the it. The fact that she's sleeping, yeah. So I wonder if there's another version that we could try where we, we really embrace the fact that she's sleepwalking and, yeah. and that these are things that she's saying that um, she can't not say. Here's a spot. Out, down, spot, out, I should say. One, two. Why then, it is time to do it. Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie. A soldier in a field. What need we fear who knows it when none can call our power to account? would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him. The thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? What? Will these hands ne'er be clean? No more of that, my lord. No more of that. You mar all with this starting. <sighs> Yet, here's the smell of the blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale. I tell you yet again, Banquo's buried. He cannot come out on his grave. To bed, to bed, there's knocking at the gates, come. more like we were watching something very private. Yeah, yeah. Which, um, yeah. did it feel like that? To, to uh, I did think the, 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 the sort of, the guilt that's there is so obvious in that second one mm. because you want to hide it. It's such a, it's such a dirty secret yeah. what they've done, Yeah, yeah. you know? And, and it, you're, you're like, it's as, a, as, as an end to that journey yeah. for, for Lady Macbeth. Yeah. Um, Really, like that's the, that's all you know. That's the last time we really see her in the play. Yeah. Um, to see all of those consequences just laid out like that yes. against her will. Yes. Is is really heartbreaking in a way. Yes. Uh, which is weird because you, you we always think of Lady Macbeth as such a villain. She's yeah. a tortured soul, and um, I think that's. I mean, obviously, that's not the greatest consequence. All those deaths mm -hmm. are the greatest consequence. But I, I I do think the torture that she's left with. It, 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 it seems to me that she has to put herself out of her pain. Um, the, con the, the final consequence, the full stop, is that she, she kills herself, yeah. you know, because minutes later she's dead. Yeah.